For a PLC to truly thrive, support from a variety of sources is crucial. In this video, we will take a closer look at two of the main areas of support. Support from school leadership and support from experts. The role of school management is to motivate teachers to engage in PLCs and to create the necessary conditions for PLCs to take place. Ranging from realizing a safe environment in which critical reflection can take place, to allocating time and providing resources. The school must make the space for the teachers to have this without too much interference, give them a, a, a time and a space where they can meet to discuss these issues. PLC members identify support from their principals and school management as critical to their success. It's difficult to, to always give advice to other schools because each school is individual. But I think um, one must always ask the question, what do I have to lose and what can I gain from it? Principals could also just take them off some of their duties as well so that they can um, have the time. And then the benefits would be for the learners themselves and I think that's the main thing. If you can focus on what it's about, I think you sort it. Teachers have pointed to the importance of the role of a range of stakeholders to provide external input and advice. Experts include teachers with particular expertise, education officials, representatives of private sector organizations, representatives of non-governmental organizations, and universities. Staff from special schools and full service schools can also provide access to expertise. Marty Duplessis is a special needs education facility and uh, what we do is we cater for different disabilities. Uh, the first is a learning disability, the second one is a physical disability and the third one is cerebral palsy. I just realized that we've got so much to offer, number one, but then the second thing is you can obviously learn from other schools as well. What we did from the beginning, we made our professional staff available like the psychologists, like the speech therapists, occupational therapists, physiotherapists, so that they could come and add value to that. And I think from that perspective, it helped those people a great deal so that they could understand that there's actually some things that you can do to address problems and that it doesn't need to be a problem for the rest of the child's life. In the absence of external input, PLC members have been found to focus on practices they already consider good, rather than looking for new approaches. This PLC in Bloemfontein works closely with special schools in the region to utilize their resources, professionals and expertise to expand their knowledge around various pedagogical practices. I think it's not only for the teachers, but it makes learning so much easier when the children get the help that they need. We are privileged enough to have therapists and a clinic at our school. They work closely with our children and in a group with the teachers. But now the teachers in Mainstream don't have the access to it, so we must bring it to them. In today's PLC, they've drawn in an expert to help enhance their teaching around mental maths. We are going to see how Cognitive neuroscience influences the way that we teach. So what I want to do today is show you in our CAPS documents, they show us as well, you need to do mental calculations throughout the year. We want long-term memory and for that to happen, we want the information to move to the motor cortex part of the brain. It is important to build these levels of support for teachers in their professional development to support lifelong learning.